So this is our, our really cold stuff we're going to make our giant cloud with. It's liquid nitrogen at a minus 196 degrees Celsius. It looks very much like water, but it's very different. Just the heat from my hands makes it boil. But it's not boiling hot, it's boiling cold. And uh, you can see that the heat from the floor there makes it boil, evaporates, it goes back in the air it comes from. And we're just going to use some of that stuff. Uh, can you just do, can you just come in a minute here? Uh, what's your name? Mm. Mia. Mia, uh, will you hold that for me? That's a bomb. And in there is one gram of highly explosive hydrogen and enough oxygen to blow your hands off. But it's not a proper bomb yet. Uh, until we have something to ignite it with. So this is what we're going to use to actually set that on fire. Now if I got the mixture right, that will just be a rocket. But if the mixture is wrong, it's a bomb. Which is one of the big problems you have when you actually send a rocket into space. So I'm just going to swap that with you and I want you to hang on to this, which is the detonation device. And I want you to check that you can make it click. So make the spark go. Press again, right, now change it, instead of using your thumb, pop your hand over and gently squeeze. Press, that's it, try again, okay, and again, brilliant. Now the important thing is, you do not press the red button until I say press the red button, because if you do, my hand will blast over there and they'll have to catch it, all right? So to make sure you don't actually blow my hand off, we're going to do a bit of isolation. We're going to keep the danger hand away from the danger button. All right, so that's your various position for now, whilst I prepare our little bomb. Let's see, in fact, you can hold that. You look very graceful there. It's like a hidden dragon approaching the detonator. Pop that in there. Do not press the button. Okay, we're ready. And now, oh. We've got one more thing we need to do. I need to, I need to let go of that. And we're going to thread it through here so that we can put it into our launch vehicle. You can grab that end again. Very good. And I think we're about ready to go. Here we are. There it comes. Uh, let's see, which way should we fire it? What about straight at the cameraman? No, straight over the cameraman. Somewhere, actually, we want to make sure. I think that's probably the safest way over there uh, we might hit that small child it's like that scene in batman and robin they don't know where to put the bomb <laughs> oh she's moving object she's going to be harder to hit okay i'm going to try and get it over the havana club monument are you ready five four three two one So we have our first rocket into space. Brilliant. Thanks, Mia. Uh, give Mia a big round of applause. Brilliant. Thanks, Mia. Now, when a rocket really does go off into space, it's not as quiet as that. It makes so much noise that if you're more than half a mile away, or less than half a mile away, the sound will kill you. And to stop the sound killing you, they dump 300,000 gallons of cloud into the air. It's called the sound suppression water system. And to try and make something similar, I'm now going to dump half a kettle full of boiling water. So if you could just do a quick whip round to get a few more kettles, it'd be all right, to show you the sort of thing we could do. So this is my Dr. Bunhead's equivalent sound suppression system. In three, two, one. Boom. We have blast off. <laughs> off into space and chases those children. <laughs> show come and see the science of rocket blast off over at george square theater only two more days things will blow up people will pop their eyeballs and people will redecorate their underwear hope to see you tomorrow Cheerio.